My name is Professor Phil Withers. I'm uh, a professor of material science, particularly looking at uh, m m metallurgy and understanding how uh, materials behave. My uh, other role is to look after, I'm director of the BP uh, Institute for Advanced Materials. It seems that we're always getting new toys, uh, but I think uh, one of the most interesting new toys that we're, uh, we, we've, just, uh, we've just been able to procure is a Chemistem Titan. Now this combines very high resolution so that we can understand uh, behaviour at the atomic scale with chemical information so that we can see uh, the, the chemistry that's going on, whether that's to better understand a battery, to better understand how we can exploit graphene, the new material that uh, was developed in Manchester, or whether it's to understand nuclear materials which are used for power generation. What we're, what we're trying to do here is to bring together all of the different pieces of equipment to go down through the scale so that we can, un we can take the same piece of material and f understand it at each level. So for example, if you had a crack growing, that crack may be growing in a, in a pipe or a, or a large component. You want to understand how it moves through that component, and you may study it at the millimetre scale. We would do that with X-ray imaging, using our uh, Nikon-based large-scale X-ray imager. We might follow that growth until a key point where we may want to understand that at the micron scale. At this point, we would then, we would then use our, X, uh, we have an X-radia micro CT system that we could study at, at, just at the crack tip and understand the local microstructure that's causing corrosion or, or causing the crack growth to, to, to occur. Uh, if we want to then study that at, at, a, at a finer scale, we can use uh, the, the uh, FEI uh, focused iron beam microscopy to machine out, micro machine out a small region of a few, a few tens of microns and we can study that in, by, by slicing it in 3D using uh, focused iron beam microscopy, or we can slice out a very fine region that we may want to study at the atomic scale so that we can study exactly the local chemistry of the crack tip at an atomic level and to understand whether it's, it's corroding because the grain boundaries are denuded of particular, uh, of particular elements. That is really where the FAI chemistem comes in. It's at the end of a long series and following right the way down. But at that point, the FAI chemistem provides us with that atomic scale, uh, high resolution along with chemistry, so that we can, we can understand really what lies at the heart of these uh, damage corrosion uh, processes. This is a FEI uh, Titan, uh, corrected. And uh, what we have is a, a ability to go from 200 to 90 kV, which is important if you want to look at um, materials that can get damaged by high, high voltage. Uh, very high resolution, atomic resolution, so you can see here, uh, this is gold uh, lattice images that you can see uh, of uh, the gold uh, atoms. And it, we also have a, a four quadrant uh, EDS uh, detector where it allows us to get really high capture angle for chemical analysis, so a um, very uh, high amount of counts we can get. So we can get a really high resolution uh, chemical analysis into atomic uh, resolution. Um, and um, we can do that at any tilt angle, so because there is, will be a detector uh, at that point, at that uh, angle. Um, so um, it's a very it's our most powerful TM uh, microscope for stability and resolution. The samples inserted here in the sample chamber through the uh, in a, through the sample rod, and then um, the, uh, then the, the electrons go through the transmitted through the sample hit the screen viewing screen here, which we view through a fluorescent uh, uh, screen phosphor screen sorry, uh, phosphor screen. And then we also have down here cameras, so we can uh, lift the screen and capture the uh, uh, image onto a CCD camera. Uh, we also have an EDS detector here, which when inserted, um, when, when the detectors are in position actually, it's cooled by uh, nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, and the, what it can do is it, uh, the electron, uh, the X-rays that are generated around the sample uh, are detected by the detector here and analyzed through the software.